Hello, welcome to the U of How To. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a quiz uh, in this kind of Scantron format. Okay, so this would work well uh, in class if you want to save on paper. So to stop using Scantron, you can actually have a quiz, say uh, questions posted on a projector, or you can hand out paper, like a paper quiz. Instead of handing out Scantron cards, you can make uh, essentially like a virtual Scantron using this grid. Or for remote learning, if you already have a, a quiz on file and it, you don't want to have to convert each question from a, a, an existing quiz into a Google Form question, this is kind of a little shortcut to save some time. Okay, so we'll get something that in the end uh, looks like this. We have questions and then your Scantron setup. I'm going to close this one. And so the easiest way to do this, um, if you are starting off in your drive, you can open up the folder that you want your quiz to be found in, okay? And once you're in the folder that you want your Google Form to show up in, then go to New, More, Google Forms, and we're going to create a blank form, okay? And so uh, let's give it a title. And you can see here the folder that it's in. So if I went to move to folder, it's already in that summer school folder because that's where I was in my Google Drive before I created this new uh, form, okay? And so I'm gonna right off the bat, go to my settings. Uh, I wanna collect email addresses. Uh, I'm gonna limit to one response. Uh, I'm going to set up as a quiz, so if you go to quizzes, make this a quiz, and uh, yep, I'm going to let them see their grade immediately. I'm not going to shuffle the question order, sometimes that's appropriate for a quiz, but not for what we're going to do. Uh, and I can restrict this to my school board, to this domain, but because it's a summer school, some students are not using that uh, email address, so I'm not going to make that restrictive. And that's it. So now the, the quiz portion is set up, so let's save that. Okay, so there's email addresses. Uh, my first question is just going to be to have their name, and you see right away it turns into a short answer, required, uh, no marks for that. So now I want to add an image. Okay, so I'm going to take an image of my questions. So here is this rate of change formative quiz that I'm giving. Okay, and so I can try to squeeze this all into one photo, one one picture, but that may be a little bit too small, so I'll, I'll make it two pictures. So let's do uh, maybe the first two questions together. Okay, and so I'm just gonna take a screenshot in any way that you normally would. So since I'm working in Windows, I'm gonna use the snipping tool. Okay, so now back to here, I'm going to add the, uh, so there's the name question, sorry, so I'm going to add it, an image separately. Okay, so add that first image, and there it is, and we'll add another image for the second part of that. Okay, now there are my questions, one through five. I can say here, okay, maybe something like that. So now there are my questions, and I want to add that grid. So now I'm going, I want to add another question. So we want to click on here so that when I hit the plus sign, it adds the question after that. Okay, and so, in my options here, okay, a ton of options, we want to go to the multiple choice grid. Okay, so what do I want in my first row? I want my first row to just be question one. So however I want to show that. So I'm going to actually write in question number one. Okay, and so there's five questions. So I'm going to have question number two. 
Okay, so I got my five questions, and now my columns are going to be, since all of my multiple choice options have A through D as options, I'm going to just put in each column, it would be one of those options. Oh, let's put a capital. Okay, and so there's my multiple choice grid. Okay, and so uh, the other thing I need to do is assign answers. So, let go to my answer key. Each question I want to be worth one point. So, I'm going to change the point values to one. And then I have to select my answers. So the answers are D, B, uh, A, A, C. And done. Okay, and so now if I want to view this. Okay, so email address will automatically show up once they uh, sign in. They'll type their name. They'll see these questions and then they'll select their answers to those questions. So you have your virtual Scantron. I hope you found this useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.